coach before, you know that it can be one of the more stressful situations that we face in life. All your stuff is in boxes and you can't really get to a lot of things for a long time. But I'm a firm believer that with Notion, it really doesn't have to be. There will always be a little bit of stress just because the nature of moving is that you are relocating to a new place and that alone can cause a lot of stress. I've used this template for three different moves, including one from Oregon to Florida, which is very much the definition of a cross-country move. This template has been a complete game changer for me. So on the agenda for today, I'm going to show you how to use this moving template I've created to plan your next move as stress-free as humanly possible. I can't guarantee that it will be completely stress-free because moving. Let's get into this video and first I'll give you a quick overview of the template and then step-by-step step, we'll go through all the pages that make it as powerful powerful as it is. Moving is really stressful, so I've based this page off of toggles so that you can kind of like reveal what you want to work on and be able to choose what you're looking at to improve your focus. Everything is within a toggle. You have the three pages that are basically like the core of this template. So the moving template itself is relatively simple structure wise. So we have three toggles for tasks, stages, and our home search. I'm going to go in order of the pages. So first, let's start off with the page moving stages. Once we click in here, the first view you'll see is a very thorough view of the database. So we have here all of the stages that I've come up with. You can always change these or update them to your personal needs. So first we have our preparation stage, which includes things like decluttering and planning essentials bags. And I have a different task for each room that you're decluttering. You can always change and add things to this, obviously, but these are just some examples that I have set up for you. Then we have our packing stage. Next we have paperwork. So this is more of the official stuff. We have moving out, which is just cleaning out your old place, things like getting the total number of your boxes. And then we have moving in, call movers, cleaning, and then those are just some examples. Getting set up, things like updating your address is very important. Finally, we have transportation, mostly just to book your travel accommodations if that's necessary or how you're going to get to your new place. This all can differ person to person, move to move, obviously. So be sure to edit this thoroughly and make sure that you have what's needed for your situation. This is your timeline view. It's sorted by date range ascending. The earlier dates will obviously come first. And here you can edit really easily the date ranges of your stages. One interesting thing about this view is that it also lets you view the dependencies. So dependencies are basically just ways to show the date of one stage depends on the date of another. So for example, before we move out, we need to be finished packing, right? If we go to packing, you'll see that it is blocking moving out. So you'll see that if I move this over, based off the dependencies, the date range of my stages will shift accordingly. There's many ways that you can have these dependencies work. So just to show you, I'll go over here and go to dependencies and I have it set to shift only when dates overlap. You can shift and maintain the time between them. Like if you need three days being done with packing before you move, you want to maintain that time. So that kind of covers the general gist of this moving stages database. And now that you've seen that, you've kind of had a preview of the tasks database. But let's move on back to the page. So I have a few views for the moving tasks database, but we'll go left to right. So all is just all of the properties relevant to moving. And so decluttering is one that has sub items. You can turn this off if you would like. Here we have sub items and then you can turn off sub items if you don't like that kind of view. Obviously, all of these dates are fake. Obviously, you can change that to match <laughs> your needs specifically. As you can see, there are some icons here. Basically, what that means is that there's something within this page. You can see that furniture inventory, for example, has an example table inside of it. And then moving company comparison also has examples here with like different, like the quote that you get from the moving company, their website, email address. I will say that we have had interesting experiences with moving companies. So please, please, please make sure to check the reviews, make sure to verify the moving company because there are some not amazing situations that you might find yourself in if you don't check those types of things. Anyway, <laughs> that's just my warning with moving companies. But yeah, so plan an essentials bag. This is just a packing list that is 
filtered down. I'll get into that packing list a little later. You basically see that there's they're all organized by stage and they're sorted by their date. Or you want to group by, for example, things that are the same stage. So you want to make sure your packing is all done so you can go to this view. Lastly, I just have this coming up view, which once you get into the time of your moving, you can see that this specific view is filtered by the next week and done is unchecked. So this means things that are still to do and that are due in the next week. So that is what coming up will be. Since we're here, I wanted to go into the essentials bag and find this packing list. If you'd like to find the packing list, it is in the packing stage and then it's just a page within this page. So you will know best what you need to pack. But what I did kind of help you out with is your necessities bag. These are things that I tend to forget if I'm moving somewhere else and I'm thinking like, oh, I need to pack my laptop, my phone, chargers, things like that. But then I forget that I might be hungry, so I might need protein bars or the cleaning supplies, which is so important when you're moving into a new place. We don't always know what's been cleaned and what hasn't. These are just examples of things you might want to consider when you're bringing cleaning supplies to a new place. Vacuum, hand soap, and toilet paper. Yeah, it's been stressful. I had to move to Eugene, Oregon, eight hour plane ride. We got there and I was like, oh, thank God we're here. Like I really need to go to the bathroom. And we did not have toilet paper and we did not have hand soap. Luckily, my apartment complex had a bathroom, but yeah, that was really stressful. So I always, always, always bring hand soap and toilet paper. Um, if you you can paper towels like a hand towel uh, but yeah those are what I set up as necessities this checkbox is just like it says packed this is the day packed it's kind of helpful if you're like a super intense planner like I am and you want to figure out like when you're gonna pack all of these things and like when you'll last use them so for example things like I'm not gonna pack my shampoo and conditioner bottles until like the last second. So I like to plan those things out. And then there's a calendar view here in case you want to view your distribution of packing in a visual way. So by room, this is the rooms and I have cats. So I just put an example if you have like cats or dogs or pets, whatever. These are the necessities, which is just filtered by if necessity checkbox is checked. And then here's the calendar and distribute them however you would like. So that is the packing. Let's head back into the moving hub. If it's helpful, you have an apartment table. Depending on your situation, if you're renting or buying, you can always change the titles of these things. But basically, I put in a few things that I thought would be helpful when you're considering your apartment hunt or house hunting or whatever. So I have the name, if it's applicable, like a blue house or something that you remember. And then the monthly payment, this could be rent or your mortgage. The URL, if there is like a Redfin or Zillow link. And then some notes if you find Google reviews and you're like, oh my gosh, there's problems. You can put that in here and then you can give it a rating. This rating I have set to be out of five stars. Square footage, tour date and time if it's applicable. Highly recommend that you do tour. Some places are not like they seem on the internet and you always want to get a chance to see the neighborhood and stuff like that. Address, Right here, you can just paste that in, basic text box. The email of a contact person, and then a phone number also. And then we have tour times. If you look into the settings of this view, tour times, you'll see that it's a list, and the properties that it shows are the name of the property, the rating you've given it, and the tour date and time. Set this to ascending so that you have the tour dates and times coming up as time passes. What? Okay. Um, those are the three main databases that make up this template. And here I just have a sticky note with reminders. And these are just some examples. Um, you can label your boxes with the room that it goes to and the contents that it kind of has, if that's like safe for you to do. Sometimes if we have like a million dollars in a suitcase, we don't want to actually put that down. Sorry, that's not relatable to me. I just like, you get the idea. Yeah, okay, anyway. Check the reviews for moving companies. I touched on this a little bit, but please, there are so many scams and like things that happen that I would hate for anyone to go through. This is just a random one, but you can call movers back to add a second dresser. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this template. If you have any questions on how to use this template, how to change anything, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Oh wait. Sorry, um, one second.
please subscribe if this video has been helpful to you. If you're going on a move soon, give it a like so that I know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.